Our God is awesome. He's an awesome God. He's a faithful and a just God. He's a righteous God. And He lives and He reigns. And He is great. And He is greatly to be praised. Jesus Christ is wonderful. Wonderful. He's a miracle working God. He works miracle in our life. When you call upon the name of the Lord, great things happen. Great things happen when you call upon Him. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemy. The Lord reigns. Blessed be the rock. Let the God of my salvation be a song. The Lord reigns. Blessed be the rock. May the God of my salvation be exalted. Yeah. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord is and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigns. Blessed be the Lord. And let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigns. Blessed be the Lord. And let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigns. Blessed be the Lord, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord remains, and blessed be the Lord, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord God of my salvation be exalted. Hallelujah. Blessed be the rock. And let the God of my salvation be exalted. Hallelujah. Blessed be the rock. And let the God of my salvation be exalted. Hallelujah. Blessed be the rock. And let the God of my salvation be exalted. Forever he will be the Lamb of 
upon the throne. Jesus upon the throne. I bow upon my knees. I bow upon my knees. To worship him alone. To worship him alone. Forever Jesus will live. Forever he is. And forever he will be. Our God is a good God. He's a lamb upon the throne. He's on the throne right now. Our God is a good God. I bow from my knees because he is a great God. We gotta worship God. We gotta worship Jesus Christ. Because he lives and he reigns forever and ever. He has got no end. Our God is a good God. And he's coming back in glory to judge the world. Jesus has got no end. The Bible says, so he is yesterday. So he is today. And so he is forever, forever and ever. Amen. God bless you, ma'am. Forever Jesus Christ lives and reigns. Forever he is our God. Forever. That's not change. He's a great God. He's a different and just God. Our God is faithful. He loves us so much. The word of God says, He is with us. He is living in us. And then he says to us, if you can open up your heart, I will come and eat with you. I will come and live in you. Jesus Christ is ready, waiting for everyone of us to open up for him. He cannot force himself into us, but he's waiting for everyone of us to open up and to welcome him in his life. Jesus Christ is Lord. He lives forever and ever and ever. He's a great God. He's a God of all righteousness. He's a just God. He's a God that never changed. He's a God that never disappoints us. Our God is an awesome God. Would He let God to search your heart today? Would He allow Him to search you? Will He be bold enough to say to Jesus, Jesus, come and search me, come and try me, come and help me, come and cleanse me? Will He be ready to give your life to Jesus Christ as the personal Lord and Savior today? If you are ready, Jesus Christ is very young people. Jesus love every one of you. Can I can show you. Love, love. Jesus love you, everyone. Jesus love you, brother. Jesus love the whole world. He love you, okay? Jesus love you. You see? You see? You see? You see? Jesus love you, my friend. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. So we like God. We like Jesus Christ to come and search you. We like Him to come and live in you. Because he cannot force himself into anyone. But that is a day that has been set. A day of judgment. A day of justice. The Bible says a day will come when every one of us will be just, will be judged according to what we have done. The word of God says, according to what you have done, you will be judged. And therefore, I would like every one of us today to do and to say what Sam says, what David, King David says. In order to be free, in order to, be, to, to, to get a, a path to the kingdom, you've got to surrender your heart to God to start. You've got to surrender your heart to God to start. And that's why... We read Psalm 139 from verse 23. And the word of God says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me. And lead me in the way of everlasting. He says, Search me, O God, and see if there is any offensive way in me. Cleanse me, O oh God, and lead me to the world of everlasting. God is everlasting God. And God wants us to live for everlasting. And that's why we have eternity. Eternity is for everlasting. So David says to God, touch me and lead me. Cleanse me. See if there is any 
Yes. So that you're gonna leave it. That's the purpose. That's the reason why King David wanted God to search him. That's the reason why King David surrendered to God and said, Search me, O oh God. Young people, can you say to God, Search me, O oh God. Search my heart. Can you be humble to tell God to search you? Our God is a great God. It's an awesome God. I will read it again. And it says, this is Psalm 139 from verse 23. It says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me. And lead me in the way of everlasting. Lead me in the way of everlasting. It's very, very important that we know why God made us. God made us so that we are going to live everlasting. From everlasting to everlasting. That is why David said to God, Lead me in the way of everlasting. Anything that will hinder me from getting the everlasting life, take it away from me. Take away any offensive thought, any offensive character, any offensive thing that will pull me back. Take it away, God. It's boldness. It is boldness. David was very, very bold. And that is why he says to God, take away every offensive life, every offensive character, everything that takes me back, everything that brings me down. Oh God, take it away. Jesus Christ is Lord. Because David wants to live forever. And I tell you, he got his, he got what he needed. Because he died in a very old age, surrounded by his family, peaceful time, make peace with his enemies. Yes, Lord. He made peace with his enemies. Today, will you desire to make peace with your enemies? Will you desire to make peace with your enemies? David made peace with his enemies. He win all his wars and he made all peace. He died in a very good old age. And then he, he, he starts to walk to that everlasting way. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. I can assure you, God never wants any one of us to perish. It's not the will of God that any one of you, anybody here will perish. But it is the will of God that we will live forever. That we will be alive. That we will have everlasting life. So David understand that. David knew that. King David knew that. And he said, God, search me. Take up. Take up from me. Any offensive way. Anything that corrupts my mind. Anything that destroys my righteousness. Take it away from me. Because I want to live forever. Because I want to live for eternity. Because I want to live for everlasting. Yes, Lord. Take away. Every offensive way, every unforgiveness in you. Unforgiveness brings you down. Unforgiveness will make you not to enter into everlasting life. Every abuse, every swearing in you, every lie in you, every adultery and fornication in you, in your life, tell God to wash it away. David was a fornicator, but he repented from his sins. Our God is a good guy. He was even a murderer. But he repented from his sin. So you can repent from your sins today and tell God, set me right to the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, sister. Our God is a good God. So you can do it. If David can repent from his sins and it's on his way to everlasting, you can repent from your sins and you can be on your way to the everlasting life. David says, set me on to go on to, oh God, to everlasting way. Because I want to live everlasting. Will you want to live everlasting? Do you want to live everlasting? If you want to live everlasting, look, God wants you, every one of you, God wants you to live everlasting life. Yes, sister, God bless you. How are you doing? Wonderful. I, I still see your face smiling because you obeyed your parents. Yes, yes, God bless you. God bless you. I love that. God bless you. Amen. 
So if you want to live everlasting life, you got to tell God to cleanse you. Because God is a merciful God. God can cleanse you. God can take away all iniquities. No matter whatever you want, God is able to cleanse you. God is able to give you a life. God is able to keep you for everlasting. No matter whatever you've done. Because David himself has done so many. He shed many blood. But God forgives him because he surrendered himself to God. So God wants to forgive you today. Will you let God forgive you? Will you let God come into your heart? Will you let God do that? Listen, David let God into his heart. And he said, God, search me. Will you, like to let, will, will you let God into your heart? Will you let God come into your heart and search you and cleanse you? Because you know that when God search you, when he found a sin in you, he's going to cleanse you and he will always find a sin in you. But he, his promise is that I will forgive you, I will cleanse you, I will make you whole again. This is God. And that's what he did to King David. He made him whole again. That's what he did to all the prophets. He made them born again. Because nobody is perfect. No, not one is perfect. But God made them whole again. Because they allowed God to come into their lives and live. Because they allowed God to come and search them. So today, let God search you. Because God know you. Let God cleanse you. Let God take away all your sins. Let God forgive you. Because God knows how to do that. And He's got everything that it takes to forgive you. God has got everything that it takes to forgive you. Because He's a merciful God. And that is why every day, the Word of God says, God sends His goodness and His mercies to follow us every day, everywhere we go. Because the mercies of God forgives us from every for our sins. But because of the message of God, we are not ready. Because of the message of God, our God is a good God. Jesus Christ is merciful. I want you to know you cannot hide it from God. You know, that is one of the songs that says, You cannot hide it from God. You cannot hide it from God. You may come by a sin that no one has to know. You cannot hide it from God. You may come by your sins that no one has to know. You cannot hide it from God. You cannot hide it from God. You can never hide it from God. You may come by your sins that no one has to know. You cannot hide it from God. You may cover your sins that no one has to know. You cannot hide it from God. You may cover your sins that no one has to know. You cannot hide it from God. Where can the Son of Man hide himself? That God will not see him. And 139 from verse 11 says, If I, if I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. For darkness is as light to you. For you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that very well. And it says, I will praise you because I know that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. He says, that my heart knows. Do your heart know it? That you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Sammy says, I know that my heart is a witness that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. He says, my heart knows it. Do your heart tell you the truth? Do your heart tell you the truth that you are fearfully and wonderfully made? To live everlasting life. He says that uh, uh, the book of Psalms says that even if he will command the darkness to cover him, 
That is not darkness with God. That is not darkness with God. Jesus Christ is the light. He shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not comprehended him. He shines in the darkness. The Bible says that the, the Son of God come and shine in the darkness in the light. He shines in the darkness. Shine in our darkness. And the darkness has not stopped him. Because he is the light. And he is God. Therefore, there's no darkness that can cover us. There's no darkness that can cover any one of us. Whoever you are, wherever you come from, wherever you are hiding yourself, whatever you are doing in secret, even your secret is before God. God knows your heart. God understands you. You cannot hide yourself from God because He's the one that made you. He formed you. He knitted you together in your mother's womb. His name is God. His name is Jesus Christ that needs you together in your mother's womb. Therefore, you cannot hide yourself. If you cannot hide yourself in your mother's womb, where else can you hide yourself? You cannot hide yourself anywhere. The Lord of God said, where can the Son of Man hide himself? That God will not see him. There's no place that the Son of Man will hide himself. If you lie on to the darkness and the darkness cover, cover, cover. Darkness is light unto God. Therefore, today, everybody, I have joy in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that you're going to give your life. You give your life to Jesus Christ, who is the ultimate finisher of faith. God is the ultimate finisher of your life, young people. You've got to give your life to Jesus Christ because He loves you. You've got to give your life to your Savior because He's coming you. You've got to give your life to Jesus Christ because He's coming back again to judge the living and the dead. He's coming back again. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is coming back again. And when He comes, He's going to come as a king. Because he is the king of kings and the lord of lords and the alpha and omega and all the, the, the beginning and the end. He is coming back again. Therefore, brothers and sisters in the Lord, I want you to be bold enough to say to God, God judge me, God now search me, God now cleanse me from every evil, from every unrighteousness. Cleanse me now and make me whole. Lord, brothers and sisters in the Lord, God will hear that prayer. When he say to God, Touch me. God will definitely touch you. And God will definitely see you. And God will definitely show you mercy. Because He's a merciful God. Behold, today is the day of God's mercy. Behold, today is the day of God's salvation. Behold, today is the day of God's judgment. And God wants you to repent. God wants you to judge yourself. Today, today, judge yourself right now. See if you are in the faith. Judge yourself and repent from your sins. If you can judge yourself, brother, you can repent from your sins today. And if you repent from your sins today, you have everlasting life. You have eternal life. You live forever. You live forever. Because Jesus Christ has made you, has created you, has formed you to live forever. He needed you together in your mother's womb so that you can live forever. Jesus Christ not needs you together to come out and die and perish. He needs you together so that when you come out, you can live and live forever. And that is his desire for you. Let us accept Jesus Christ today as our personal Lord and Savior and things will be good for us. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ loves us so much and He cares for us. Today is that day, wonderful, special day. And Jesus Christ loves you and He died for your sins. He died to set you free, everybody. Our God is an awesome God. We give thanks to God and praise Him. And worship to the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and who reigns, and He is forever and ever and ever and ever. Our God is a good God. Blessed be the name of God. Therefore, everybody, remember, you cannot hide it away from God. You may cover your sins that no one has to know. You may cover your sins that your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your wife, your husband may not know, but you can never ever cover your sins from God, because God knows you. You can never ever cover your sins from the Almighty God. God bless you. You can cover your sins. You may cover your sins that no one else knows. Your friend can, may not know your sins. Your brother, your sister may not know your sins. Your manager or your president may not know your sins. Your family may not know your sins. Even your closest friend may not know your sins. But I tell you, God knows. God knows your sins. He, try, he gives trial to your sins. He will try you. You must surely. You must shine. 
be made manifest before God. All your sins must be made manifest before God. It's a good time to repent. It's a good thing to give a thought. Give a thought of the life you are living. And hand over everything to God. For He loves you and He cares for you. And God bless you. Jesus Christ loves you. And Jesus Christ is Lord forever and ever and ever. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you, sister. God bless you. Our God lives and reigns. So once again, I will say to every one of you, invite God in your life and ask God. Yes, yes to God. Yes, yes. God bless you, sister. Yes, thank you very much. I got a yes. Jesus Christ is Lord. Invite God in your life. Invite God. Invite Jesus Christ in your life. Jesus loves you. Invite him in your life because he's a merciful God. Invite him in your life because he will not disappoint you. Invite Jesus Christ in your life because he's, he's a, a worthy, he's worthy, he's merciful, he's righteous, he's holy, he's great, he's special, he's a good God. He loves you so much. Invite him in your life. I say to him, God, search me and take away all my sins. God, search me and take away all my mistakes. God, search me and take away all my evil heart, all the evil things that I have done. God, search me, take it away. Is there any iniquity in me? Is there any offensiveness in me? Is there any unforgiveness in me? God, take it away. God, remove it. Search me, O oh God. That would be our prayer every day. For God to search you. If God search you, you are, you are blessed. You are not. Then invite Jesus Christ in your life, sir. Let Jesus Christ come into your life and touch you and make you blessed. That's why we are here. That's why we are preaching. So that you understand that Jesus Christ loves you. And Jesus Christ can touch you. And Jesus Christ can make you to be blessed. Because he blesses every one of us. He's a good God. He's a faithful and a just God. He's a wonderful God. He's a mighty redeemer. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for today. It is a very great day. It's a very faithful and a just day. Our God is good. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. God bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen and amen. God bless you.